Do you feel ashamed because of the way your body looks? Do you feel like you have too much fat or you're too skinny or something else? Well, this tapping session is just right for you to release all that body shame. Stay tuned. Just keep tapping. You got this. Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. This is a really important video because we live in a world that conditions us to constantly compare ourselves with other people. And this creates the belief within us that we're not good enough simply because of the way our body looks. And that belief leads to years of feeling shame about the way that we look. And over time, the shame becomes a stick that we beat ourselves with, a stick made out of all the ugly things we think and believe about ourselves, whether they're true or not. In this tapping session, we're gonna support you on your personal body liberation journey. You will connect with what causes you to have a negative body image and carry shame day after day. You're gonna also be releasing the pain from years of these damaging and unhealthy thoughts and beliefs about yourself. Now, before we begin, as always, please remember to take full responsibility for your personal health and well being and reach out for professional help if you need. This tapping session is not intended to replace medical advice or anything of that nature. Now, I want you in this moment to just think about your body. What situation really triggers you? Maybe it's trying on new clothes, going to the beach, or seeing pictures of yourself beside the pool. Notice the thoughts and feelings that run through you just by thinking of one of these situations. Notice what you begin to feel, what emotion you start to feel. Sadness, anger, disappointment. What's the intensity of this feeling? On a scale from zero to 10, how intense is the shame that you're feeling right now? Zero being that you feel indifferent and 10 being very strong, so much shame. You don't want anyone to see you. Take a moment to write down or just make a mental note of the level of intensity that you feel right now. Now just take a nice deep breath in through your nose and release. And we're gonna begin by releasing these intense emotions connected with body shame. Start by tapping on the side of your hand and repeat after me in your mind or preferably out loud if you can. On the side of the hand, even though I am ashamed of my body, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I compare my body to other people's and it makes me hate my body, I honor how I feel and I'm open to exploring these feelings. One more time on the side of your hand, even though I doubt these feelings will ever go away, right now I begin to feel safe in my body. Tapping on the top of the head, I'm ashamed of what my body looks like. And that's the truth. The eyebrow point, it makes it really hard to even look at myself in the mirror. Tapping on the side of the eye, it makes it even harder to just do simple things like go to the beach. Tapping under the eye without thinking or wishing that my body looked like other people's bodies. Tapping under the nose. I genuinely hate this body. It's really hard for me to love this body. On the chin, I've really learned this. I've learned to try to hate my body thinner, to hate my body to look like someone else's body. Tapping on the collarbone. That's why I don't like to look in the mirror. Tapping on the 
tapping under the arm because when I look in the mirror, all I see are my flaws. Top of the head and it makes me feel ashamed. It makes me feel embarrassed. Embarrassed to be in this nasty body. And just feel into the emotion there, tapping on the eyebrow, I feel ugly. Tapping on the side of the eye because this body is ugly and that's my truth. Tapping under the eye, I hate this body. I really, really wish that it were different. Tapping under the nose, I really do wish it were different. And that is my truth in this moment. Tapping on the chin, I am so ashamed looking at my body, especially when comparing it to other people's bodies. Tapping on the collarbone, I don't look anything like the people on TV. I don't look anything like the people on social media. Something's wrong with this body. Tapping under the arm, this body has let me down. What a shame. Top of the head, I feel ashamed to be in this body. I feel ashamed to be in my body. This does not feel safe. Eyebrow, but the truth is, I really hate feeling like this about my body. Side of the eye, I don't like feeling like this about myself. Under the eye, I'm so tired of being unhappy with myself all the time every day. Tapping under the eye. Maybe there's a way I could start to appreciate my body. On the chin point, maybe I could start to notice little things about my body that aren't so bad. Tapping on the chin. And maybe I can appreciate all the things my body does for me, as opposed to criticizing my body all the time. Tapping on the collarbone. Maybe a part of me can begin to appreciate my body. Appreciate all the places that it's taken me, all the things that this body has made possible for me to do. Tapping under the arm, I choose to notice that I'm being so busy feeling ashamed of my body. Top of the head, that it's distracting me from focusing on my real needs. Eyebrow point, because I do have needs. And I really do wish that I could just love my body the way it is. out of the eye and I'm ready to let go of this pain and all the shame that I feel under the eye so that I can move forward powerfully I choose to be open to start appreciating my body under the nose and maybe even loving parts of my body on a chin point, my, maybe my body is not a project. Maybe I don't need to fix anything. The body is not broken. Tapping on the collarbone, maybe my body is meant to change and adapt. And so is the way that I feel about my body. Maybe my feelings are meant to change and adapt. Over time, continuing to feel different about this body. The way I felt yesterday can be different than the way that I feel today. 
And as you continue tapping on the collarbone, just be aware of any feelings that come up as you think about your body. Just keep tapping here. I want to suggest to you that it is possible to hold a space for yourself to feel these tough emotions and begin to see how they are getting in the way of you being confident, comfortable, and maybe even happy with your body. But that's not even a possibility until you realize and begin to understand just how brutal you are about your body. And so that's why we do this tapping. There is a way for you to get to know yourself a bit better on these tough days. There is a way for you to pinpoint how you need to care for yourself to take better uh, care of yourself without restricting and beating yourself up, becoming more curious than critical. Notice what you need to feel more confident in your body. What comes up for you? How much of a difference would it make if you could be kind to yourself? Even 5% kinder to yourself. For instance, if you hate the way that your belly looks, can you appreciate how it helps you to digest your food? Maybe you can accept your belly or whatever part of your body it is as it is right now and offer kindness to it and gradually extend this same kindness to other parts of your body. Okay, now take a nice deep breath in and release. You can stop tapping and take another deep calming breath in. And as you release this time, just allow all of this to soak in. Allow room for acceptance and comfort and ways to experience self-love and self-care, being open to becoming friends with your body. And as you take another deep breath in and release, just connect with how you feel. Notice how intense your feelings are right now. And on a scale from zero to 10, how has the emotion shifted, the shame? What outlook do you have at this moment? Let me know in the comments. Take a moment to appreciate yourself for being willing to feel these tough emotions. It's not easy. You're working through them. You're beginning to heal this pattern for yourself. And if you like more tapping sessions like this, let me know in the comments what topics you'd be interested in, and I'll do my best to make it happen. This is Jason Winters, and until next time, keep tapping and remember, Food freedom is a spectrum and you are experiencing it right now.